welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this fascinating physics experiment on two couplet pendulums. As you can see, we have two pendulums here and we say that they are couplet because both hang from the same thread. In this way, the movement of one pendulum affects the movement of the other and vice versa. If one of the pendulums starts to move, it will affect the motion of the other. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Let's see the first of several types of movements that this system has. I'm going to make one of the pendulums oscillate and let's see what happens. The second starts also to oscillate under the influence of the first. But this is now static, starts to move again. The other slows down until it's static, starts to move again, and so on. This cycle repeats until all the energy that we initially gave to one of the pendulums is dissipated. But why this kind of movement appears? What happens is the following. When this pendulum starts to oscillate, let's say that it's going in that direction, it also pushes the string, which makes the other pendulum to start oscillating. And with each oscillation, the energy of this pendulum starts to be transferred to the other one until this pendulum has no energy at all and is static. But then the same happens in the opposite way. This pendulum starts to push the string and this other starts to move and the cycle repeats. In order to see it more clearly, let's see the movement from above. Now let's change the conditions. This pendulum is shorter than the other. And let's see what happens. The other pendulum starts to move. And then stops. Starts to move again. and now stops while the other pendulum is always moving. It only changes the amplitude of the oscillations, but only one of the pendulums stops and starts again.
The length of the pendulums also affects the movement. If this length is short, everything happens at a faster pace. The separation also affects, if this distance is large, it takes more time for the energy to be transferred from one pendulum to the other. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video, Couplet Pendulums. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.